everybody, Gypsy here from what used to be called Bipolar Peer Chat. If you'll notice, the name changed, Mental Warriors Peer Chat. And I just kind of want to do a brief video here on why the name change. First off, there will be no difference in our group as far as how it operates, how it works. There's no changes there. You know, we still are going to have our peer-to-peer -peer Facebook Messenger group going on and the chat area. Our page is still up. We're still doing videos. We're still going to be posting photos and positive affirmations on there. So the name change really isn't a conglomerate kind of thing that's going to make any difference to you guys, to be honest. It's more of something I felt I needed to do. Bipolar people suffer from multiple illnesses sometimes. We, we have more than just bipolar you know, we have PTSD, we suffer from anxiety, depression, insomnia, agoraphobia. The, the list kind of goes on and on. So I, I just wanted to be able to reach out to more people. I don't want to alienate people that might just simply have depression or might just simply have anxiety that I might be able to help or that one of you guys might be able to help. I want them out there to be able to type in mental illness, mental awareness, mental health, mental support, and our group pop up for them just as well as bipolar people. So that's the only reason behind the name change. As again, I'll say this is going to be a short video. It's just a, a simple explanation of the why. And again, reiterate that nothing's going to change here. I do want to add in on this video, I have started getting some random friends requests. That's fine. I have denied some of those people. And the reason behind that is I would really like if you send me a friend's request to send a message with it. I just have to, you know, kind of be on the safeguard and reassure myself there that you're sending me a friend's request for the right intentions. I'm sorry about that. So just if you t intend on sending me a friend's request, shoot me off a little message in the Facebook chat. Just let me know your intentions. Hey, I really I saw your video. I saw your page. I really want, you know, to be interacted in this. And I'll hit that accept button. But without that, you know, message, I, I'm going to deny it. I'm sorry. It's not that I, I don't want to help anybody. It's not that I, you know, don't send my love to these people. It's just I really have to be assured about who I'm, you know, adding to my friends list. So there's always big love there to share. I want to share it with you guys. So make sure you send those friend requests in. Make sure to join the group. Mental Warriors. Why that name? That name is because we are just that. We fight daily for what we go through sometimes. It, some days it's a complete struggle the entire day. And we are warriors. We fight it. I mean, we we do our bid. You know, we medicate. We go see our doctors. We do go see our counseling. We work with peer-to-peers. We work with other people. We work with each other. And we do those battles. I mean, because... Bipolar is a battle. I, I often describe myself as a phoenix because during mania, you know, you kind of burn your whole world down because you don't realize what you're doing sometimes. And then you rise again from the ashes and life is back beautiful once you're back steady and stable. So just keep that in mind, guys, when you, you start, you know, feeling not really sorry for yourself, but feel bad because you've you know, kind of did things that you normally wouldn't have, is that bipolar does control our bodies sometimes, and we have to fight mentally to get where we need to be. So keep those battles up. Keep your warrior guard on. Keep that armor on, and just fight and fight and fight for the love of yourself, for the love of your friends, your love of your loved ones, for each other. Let's join in together in this battle and just send out love and be there for each other during our low times. Be there for each other during our high times. Because that's a lot of what we really need is just that interaction. Knowing somebody out there understands what we're going through. And that's the whole purpose behind my group. That's the purpose behind these videos. Is to get the word out there as much as possible. So please guys feel free to share my videos. No matter where you might have seen it from. Share them, like them, love them. 
send me a message telling me what a great job I'm doing or what a crappy job I'm doing. I don't care. It's feedback. You know, if, if I'm messing up, I want to know how to improve myself because that's just the type of person I am. But uh, another thing real quick is the serious talk of this virus that's going around. It's It's got a lot of people down. And with it having a lot of people down, we really, really need to be there for each other because this Quarantine is in place for several cities and states across our nation right now and our country, you know, because we reach more than just the United States. You know, try to look in on your elderly and the disabled. You know, if you happen to know that you have an elderly neighbor in your neighborhood, go check on them and make sure they have what they need. You know, it's all about love, guys. I know it's dangerous right now, and, you know, if nothing else, leave a note on their door and tell them you'll come back the next day, you know, for them to reply with, of a list that they might need, and if you can get it for them, get it, even if that means you need to go to a food bank or a church or other organizations to help get this stuff for those needy people. A lot of these elderly or own disability or are limited income, so they, they really need that help out there. And that's kind of my view on that is, you know, keep safe, isolate the way you're supposed to be doing if you're in that kind of area because you're in a high danger zone. You know, reach out to people that you know might need a phone call. Reach out to groups on here if you yourself need reassurance because it is scary times right now. But I wholeheartedly believe in my heart that, you know, this will pass. We're going to get through this. We're a strong nation. You know, 9-11 came and, and really destroyed a lot of lives and hearts. And we battled through that. And we're going to battle through this the same way. So that's my views on this virus that's going around. Just really look out for each other. You know, we really need that right now. With everything that I've said here, I'm going to, like I said, make this a short video. Nothing big. Just wanted to explain the name change and send out a little love. And, you know, no people are also worried about this virus. And you're not alone in your battles. And just, you know, reach out to us because that's what we're here for. Big loves. Peace. And see you next.